So today it's all about this instrument. Now, I reckon you might recognize this because I see them all the time holding open storeroom cupboard doors at schools or sitting under the lost property box or at people's houses on windowsills their parents bought them before on a holiday they went before you were born so they're around quite a bit the thing is when we see them we still think oh it's a bongo drum it is not a bongo drum this is called a djembe spelt d-j-e-m-b-e or d-j-e-m-b-e i've been practicing that one and the djembe is from Africa um, and more commonly West Africa and it's made of wood it's hollow so the sound can come out of it look and put my arm all in it there we go so the sound can come out of it and the top is made of goat skin now I like the djembe for quite a few reasons one is you can just pick it up and throw it in the back of the van the next one is it's not that difficult to play to an okay standard there's my disclaimer to an okay standard, because there aren't that many sounds that you can create on it. Um, if you want to watch some people playing it to a very high standard, after you've watched this video, go on YouTube and Google U drumming, E-W-E -E, drumming, or just Ghanaian drumming, or Senegalese drumming, and you'll see some amazing people playing these instruments of a higher quality than I'm about to show you. But I'm gonna show you the basics nonetheless. Okay, so first thing we need to do is hold the instrument correctly, like any musical instrument really. So we're gonna make sure that we tilt it so the sound can come out the bottom, otherwise it sounds even worse if it's flat. Listen, sounds rubbish, so we have to tilt it. Hopefully it'll sound different, here we go. Uh, we tilt it so the sound come out the bottom. Now there are three main sounds. Here's the first sound, it's the bass sound, so we've gotta hit it right in the middle of the drum and bounce off. Like that, there we go, should we try again? That's it. And next up is the tone on the edge here. We just gently strike it like that, with no malice. About there if you want, some people go a bit higher, some people go a bit lower, I'm going there. Okay, and then the last sound is the slap. That's it, three sounds. And then when you combine them together, you can play some little grooves. So if you start off nice and easy, Could add a few more notes. And then if you want to go a bit faster, a bit crazier, you can as well and put all three sounds in. Not bad for first thing in the morning. Now, um, I think this is a good time to put a good message out there, and that is. If you see a djembe looking lonely and unused, I think it's a good time to bring it back to life. Make sure you ask permission of the people who own it, but bring it back to life. Get it out of the store cupboard, get it off the windowsill, put it on the floor, tilt it away from you, try the three sounds and play along to some music you might like. And I think you'll probably enjoy it. So. I hope you've learned a few things about this drum. Most importantly, that it's not a bongo drum. It is a djembe. So thanks for listening. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.